Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And let's see here, I would like to test... Do missiles or beams today? Let's do missiles. I was going to do beams, but let's do missiles. Alright, so I have 104 missiles stockpiled here, so that should be fine. So let's just shoot stuff with just a standard missile. This is 50 missiles. And I would like to set up that there. And we will do the overkill missiles later. Let's see. So let's just start shooting stuff. Let's hit C to align me to Galactic North. All right. And this was just standard um, clear armor. Clear armor. Crystal armor. That made a good chunk out of it. Let's see. Let's try that with... You are advanced armor, I believe. Yep, that is advanced armor. Let me try hitting this from above, but whatever. Oh, that took out a chunk of advanced armor. Huh. The 50 cannon didn't do anything to this. I believe missile is supposed to do more damage to armor. And... Interesting. Interesting. The, uh, it does more damage to advanced armor than it does to standard. Huh. And this is just basic cull. Actually, that's interesting, too. It punched out more advanced than it did even basic. That's weird. Okay, let's hit a system. Looks like equal amounts of system to advanced. And another system. And that's going to be probably... Oh, took a chunk out of dirt. And a similar chunk out of... Actually, a bigger chunk, I think. No, no, well, this is a similar chunk out of uh, just scaffolding. And the server's trying to do a pirate raid. So it looks like missiles are more effective against armor. Particularly heavy armor. And terrain and things like that, I'm guessing because of the missile spread, but that's just straight missile. Let's uh, let's do some combos. So let's see, I, I've forgotten what they all they are. So missile cannon, that is... Okay, those are heat seekers. Uh, it looks like they struck something. Well, they took out part of that there. Looks like they all tried to hit Hit, um, hit the center there. Huh. I have no intention of actually using swarmers. So, remember cannon, or missile cannon or swarmers. I'm from the old days. I remember missile missile being swarmers. Missile missile now is the bomb. Right? Yeah, that's still bomb. And I have to remember that every time. Otherwise, I forget it. Strange. If I don't remember something, I forget it. Hey! I shot it! Huh. Oh, and that only took out... That only took a... Fifth, oh, no, no, I have 50,000. Or 5,000 of those. Never mind. So, let's see. Missile... Beam is going to be the lock-on. And it is much faster. Unbelievable and faster. The lock-on is. And it's supposed to have a better um, tracking as well. So it should be... Uh, it, missiles should uh, find their targets more easily. Well, that one actually hit. Huh. I'm surprised. Well, that one hit over there. It's usually once they get in this loop here, this um, orbital type thing... They just go forever, orbiting. Huh. So let's just do some dumb fire of these. Whoa, 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 slow it down, slow it down. On there, I can't see what that happened there, so we're going to ignore it. Galactic North, so we're going to hit things hit on. Oh, yeah, that packed a little more wallop. And that did punch shuttle a few more. Yep, that did more. 
set it more. Of course, it's all going to do more. I wanna, I'm more curious about this. How much? Yeah, that's going to hurt. And then our decorative blocks here. Huge chunk. So it looks like to missiles, heavy armor systems are the same. But standard armor looks like it. Standard armor looks like it should be advanced, and advanced should be standard to me. I think those two should be swapped, but that's probably because I don't understand the mechanics behind them. Hmm. All right, so now let's actually test the the bomb. Let's see how effective it is. Then we'll start shooting ships. Is that bomb? It went. Boop. Oh my goodness! Oh, where am I? That skipped the air gap and shredded part of that advanced armor. All right, let's hit you right on the nose then. Oh, good grief! Look at the cooldown on that though. Wow, that is a, a substantial, substantial uh, bomb impact. All right, come on, hurry up. I have places to be. Well, not really, but oh, good grief. Before the heat death of the universe, please. There we go. And holy moly. Okay. I think bombs have gotten a boost. Where am I? Good grief, that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That penetrated eight layers of it stacked advanced armor. And unless you're playing in creative mode, you are not going to have, even if you are playing in creative mode, you are not going to have eight layers of stacked advanced armor. Hot snot! That was... That was da bomb. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's see what it does to standard. Ooh. It do looks like it does similar. Smaller smaller impact, though. Okay. And that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? That only did 7 penetration, 7 layers of penetration. That's interesting. I think I've... I think I am fund fundamentally misunderstanding the difference between standard and advanced armor. Because it looks like advanced armor is garbage and standard, or well, not garbage, and it's absorbed eight layers of bomb, but standard armor looks like it took more than the advanced armor did. I'm just misunderstanding it, I think. Oh, slowest bomb in history. Pew! Hello. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six layers deep. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. So it looks like this initial test, basic gray absorbs more bomb than than uh, either of the uh, armors. That's interesting. Oh, yep. As I'm not even counting that. That that did bad things to the uh, reactor. Ooh, this is gonna do bad things to the system block. I imagine they're gonna be the same bad things. And while we uh, wait on our on our um, whatever that is, let's uh, let's bring in a couple of essence for target practice. All right, there we go. Come on, there you go. Yeah. Oh wow. That did nothing to mitigate the blast radius and just kind of chewed up everything around it. So, if you're sieging a planet, that's going to be devastating. I love it. Right, so let's get rid of that. And we're going to switch back just to straight missile. And we're going to test against um, 
some Essence. Because I don't really have another ship to test against. Wait a minute, that's not entirely true. Hmm. Now I'm going to test against these Essence. This is 50 missile, just straight missile. And that impacted. It did nothing, or well, it hurt the shields a bit. Can we hurt the shields a bit more so I can see what the missile does? Alright. I hurt the shields a bit more, my missile. I didn't hurt, hurt the shields nearly enough. Take the shields down, then hit it with a missile. Uh, hit it with another missile. Hit it with any missile. Come on. Um... This should be doing more than nothing. Are Isanth just special and super duper? Because that is not doing much damage whatsoever. Huh. Hitting it with 50,000. Uh, not 50,000. 5,000 cannon is doing something to it. That's strange. Alright. So, 50 missiles not over enough to overcome 8,000 shields or do practically any damage just taking out a block of an S hand. So that's uh, good to know, I guess. Um, let's see. What about a missile beam? Let's lock on and... Oh! That took about, oh, 5,000 shields. Okay. Let's hit it again. That took about most of the shields. And hit her again. And that did, that one actually did a little damage. It took out part of this wing here. Now, to be honest, this this is my primary means of, of uh, or this will be my primary means of damage dealing, because I am a terrible shot in Star Maid. If you've seen me play any game, I'm a terrible shot, period. So, this seems a bit underwhelming. Six shots of 50? Huh. No, no. Just seems a bit underwhelming. Probably is totally whelming. Oh, alright. We'll hit it with uh, some Seekers. And the Seekers. Very well. Oh, there we go. Those Seekers are just sitting there. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, there you they act like seekers. It has been forever since I've used seekers. I used to use them with lone ships, although I think the way the Star Maid's going, I don't think seekers are really a, a or heat seekers are if you, if you will. I don't think they're really a viable option anymore, because you're gonna need fleets. Or you're primarily you're primarily you're probably gonna be using them with fleets. Oh. Okay. Well, that did... Well, it shredded the shields and took out like seven blocks. That's a lot of expenditure in um, missile capacity to take out seven blocks. So let's, uh, let's try this. For whatever reason, you're able to actually hit an Isanth with a bomb. Should have blitted... I did not obliterate it. That took it down to 44% reactor. And it needs to drop to what? Oh, it was dropping to... Oh, yeah, there we go. It went to reboot. Huh. All right. I am underwhelmed at small... Small shield, or small missiles. But... Uh, 
it looks like missiles, the combos are basically untouched. So that's good, I think. Oh, oh, before we go, I do want to test the old trick of just setting a beam and just tying a missile to a beamless computer. Hey, there we go. It works. I mean, what do you mean it works? Uh, this missile beam is tied to a modulus beam computer just to give it lock on. In power three or two or seven or what the power that was or the weapons that was in power 2.0 it required modules to give you faster lock on time. The old trick was you don't need the modules, the modules just make the missiles more powerful. And it looks like we're back to our old ways of you just need the computer for lock on and it's really fast. I think I like that. I, I I think that's a good, good, uh, good thing. That way you can build the missiles. You can use a weak missile as a, uh, a lock-on. Alright, well that was interesting. As further testing is going to be needed. Of course, I'm also testing a 50 module weapon against enormous chunks of armor and ships that were not built in quick fire. Anywho, I have been JW608, this has been Star Maid, and I'll take you cats later.